All right, so what we'll the components we have right now that I'm going to demo today is we have a login component. Uh, we have a dial pad, which is just really going to make a call. Uh, we have a console, um, which is a, a call console, which will get your incoming calls, a contact list, and a contact details uh, component, a message list, and message playback. Uh, some of the ones that are going to be coming up in uh, the future is going to be a message recorder. Um, and this is kind of a shout type thing. And if you see the shout example that you guys downloaded from, uh, uh, from, the, from the developer site, you'll actually see a, a simple shout with messaging or simple shout with equalizer code sample. This is actually going to be built in as a component also. Uh, we also are going to add in SMS messaging. So you'll be able to type in a message, put in a phone number, send a text message to somebody and uh, to their cell phone, and they'll, they'll get it there. So we'll have a component just for that. And then also we have a, a click to call feature that's going to be coming out with the 2.5. And what this does is it really uh, sets up, say, like a banner ad. So you can click on the banner ad to call something, like if it's a Macy's uh, banner or something like that, it can click and call to Macy's directly. They don't have to enter in any information. They don't have to log in. They don't have to do anything. It's all really set in the component itself. You just publish it and push it out there. So let's check out these components really quick. Having a hard time. Uh... For some reason, it doesn't like to go to my. OK, let's try this. OK. So. Let me refresh this. Here we have our component set. Um, and I've broken this out into just a little tab navigator uh, to show off the different sections of the components. So we have a, uh, the login component here. And these are all basic just canvases uh, laid out onto the application uh, tag. We have uh, the call console is the one here on the left. And then here's the dial pad, which is basically going to make the calls. Your call console here is going to receive your incoming calls. Then we have uh, contacts. Uh, the left-hand side is pretty much the same example that we had earlier with the uh, code solution. That's your whole contact list there. And then over here to the right is actually your contact details. I just have two, two real quick entries there just to kind of show how it, how it works together. And then the message list, uh, basically based off the same thing with the uh, code solutions and um, a little playback section so that when you click on a on a message, it will populate below, and you can listen to your message. So let me log in real quick. And now these are all actually separate components imported in. Now, as you can see here, we actually also have the Remember Me, which was the store user example. Um, so we've actually imported that into the component. So when you add that, you have that built in to the component itself. So you see my contacts loaded up, my messages loaded up. Um, and I can use my, my dial pad now. So on the root level of this application, this is all that's really in the application right now. If you can see, we have the login component here. Um, we have the dial pad and the call console. It's all wrapped in this tab navigator here. Uh, contacts display, contact, uh, contacts display, and then just contact display, and then the message center. So really, all in your application tag, that's all you actually have is just these references uh, to these components themselves. Cool. So let's actually kind of build a, a, an application really quick, show you how easy it is to uh, incorporate these flex components and what you can kind of do with them. So we're going to just basically start off with a new project. And we're just going to call it Summer Spawn 08. And we're going to go ahead and import in, uh, obviously, the uh, ribbit swick that we need. I'm actually using uh, a new version of the 2.5. Uh, so we have the, uh, it's a newer version of the 2.5. The components right now won't work with 2.0, so uh, we're waiting for the 2.5 release. So we're going to import that swick in. Then we also need to import in the Pure MVC SWIC. And we'll get obviously more into Pure MVC, but the Pure MVC SWIC is needed in order to run these components. Um, but they do the same thing. You can go to their site, 
download the SWIC um, and save it somewhere, and then you can import that in and you have Pure MVC built in, and now the components will actually work. All right, so let's go ahead and build the project here. So if we go into design mode right now, all you see right here is the application tag has nothing in it just like it does when you first uh, create, create your application. You'll notice here in, when we go into design mode that there's nothing sitting in the custom component uh, area here. We have nothing there, obviously. I, I don't know how many people here use the design mode, but you can simply just drag and drop buttons on here onto your, your design mode and, and uh, design your Flex applications really, really quickly. So this is a COM folder. This is exactly where all of the components sit. Right now, I'm just going to cut and paste them. We're probably going to distribute this as a SWIC or as a COM folder itself so it could be open source and you guys can uh, fool around with it and extend it and do anything you really want to with it. But for right now, I'm just going to copy and paste this COM folder into my source folder here. And then you'll notice, watch this little custom area. It actually gets populated with all of the different components there. Uh, we're going to basically cut this down. Everything with the view uh, won't be there. So all you will really have is the call console, uh, contacts display, dial pad, the login feature. So what's really cool, now we have everything imported in. You take that login, and you simply just drag and drop on your stage. And now you actually have the whole login component hooked up to Ribbit, ready to go. And we'll do the same thing with, let's just say, our contacts display. So we'll put that in. Really quickly, we're going to go ahead and just generate that. Yep, let's save it. So now we've just added the login component, a, co a contacts component. Log in. It's trying to log in. Logs in pulls back our contacts. You have everything there with a simple just drag and drop feature. Um, and you can add Ribbit, the voice technology, to any application really, really quickly with these components. Cool? You guys like them? Pretty neat? Sweet? So all, everything that you saw before, uh, you know, with the dial pad, you can simply just pull the dial pad in here, add that. It's going to basically regenerate the design mode. Now you have your, your make a call here. If I publish this again, I can now dial out to my cell phone. And so basically within, I don't know, two minutes, I created a Ribbit application that can dial out, pull up my contacts, and I can log in. It's, they're really, really, really cool stuff.